Tip number 57. I am I was going to do a blog about this, and I just haven't yet. And it came from a discussion that a really fine writer and I had on Facebook. Um, she's a tremendous writer, and she was complimenting me on how I can do things because I've been around for a long time. And, you know, and, and what her intention was, and it was very well intended, and there was no issue from me on that, although I took her to task a little bit, because she didn't say it well. And her intention, which we got to, was to say that I can do things better at times because I've practiced more, and that practice is everything in writing. Okay, so she was tiptoeing into that really dangerous area called practice. Well, what got me going, of course, is that I hear this all the time from younger writers, not meaning young in age, but newer into the industry, newer into the actual writing words, that they can't do things because they're not old enough. They haven't been at it long enough. And old Dean, he can do anything because he's been at it 40 years. And to be honest with you, it's moderately insulting. Um, and, and I know you don't understand that, and you will. When, you, when you've been at it for 30, 40 years, you will understand that people look at you and think, oh, well, it's easy for you because you've been doing it a long time. You know, and it's like, screw you. You know, no, it's not easy for me anymore than it is for you. I have the same issues you do, but I've practiced more. And that was this other writer's point, as this practice. And, and she was exactly right. I have more practice. Okay? I have more practice in keeping critical voice out. I have more practice on, on some of the craft skills that I teach. I have more practice because I've just got more words through my fingers. I, got, I, don't, I can't even begin to count how many millions and millions and millions of words I have underneath my fingers. I'll do 1.2 to 3 million words a year. So yeah, I practice a lot. And by practicing more, I'm probably better than most of you. you know, whatever you think of my writing, you know, as a, as a reader, I'm still probably better at the craft. Okay? And that's because I practice more. So age does help that. But what's really amazing here in this modern world is that there are young writers, and some of them are very young, some of them are in their 20s, that are just writing quickly which is another part of what the post was, and have, are getting out of their own way, are practicing, or have no fear about writing stories. They are not afraid of what their mother's going to think or what somebody's going to think or ruining their career or something else. They're just writing and having fun and going after it and going after it and going after it. And they're good. Some of these people are good. Not, not all of them. Not all of them are to my taste, which is just typical of me as a reader. But some of these writers, these new young writers, are really good. And they're writing faster than I ever write in a million years. And, and I look at some of them and think, oh, man, I wish I could get to that speed or wish I could get to that kind of thing. Um, and, and so I'm keeping working. I'm trying to get better. And the younger writers are encouraging me. So the point of this tip, and I guess the title of it be is you can't write because you're not old enough. Hmm. That's what I took out of that discussion is that's just hogwash. If you hear yourself thinking in any way that you can't do something because you haven't done it yet or you haven't done it enough or other people, well, it's, it's, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's exactly right. You know, writing is practice, just like music, just like sports. It's practice. It is practice. But you can get a lot of practice in very quickly in your early years. Now, I'm not talking, you, you know, you should be thinking, oh, this is my second short story I've ever written, and I should be as good as Dean. Well, no, you can't even see what you're not doing. You know, you have no idea, okay? And that's perfectly fine. It's called practice and learning. You know, and, and let alone, you know, you're sitting there going, oh, I hate James Patterson because he can't write, and, or I hate Clive Kessler because he can't write, or I hate Nora Roberts because she can't write. Well, the reason you think they can't write is, number one, maybe they're not to your taste, but number two, you can't even see what they're doing. You know, literally their skill level is so far up. It's like you've just learned how to play chess and you sit and stand and watch two chess masters play. You can't see what they're doing. You have no idea what level they're playing on. That's perfectly fine. 
That comes with age. That comes with practice. Comes with time and learning. But never, ever, ever let yourself, hear yourself think, I can't do that because I haven't done it yet. That's wrong. That's just wrong. That's an automatic self-fulfilling prophecy. Automatic. What you should do is actually say, hmm, I'm young at this. I have nothing to lose. I can practice and have fun and play and everything else. Where that Nora Robertson or that Dean Smith or that you know Chris Rush, they got everything to lose because they have reputations, <laughs> which we don't and we don't care. But you know the reality is is we don't have anything to lose either. But that takes a long time to get to that point. Okay, but you should have it immediately, because you as a early writer under twenty or thirty novels, you got nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, you might be making a little money. That's great. You know, and maybe you'll do something and you won't make a little money. Yeah, well, just keep working at it and keep practicing and keep going. The point of this and what came out wrong in, the, in that discussion on, on Facebook that I was having with the other writer is she basically said I could write fast because I'd been doing it and been around a long time. And I'm like, I write 800 words a minute. I can't write fast. What she was trying to get to was I practice. And one of the things when people used to say, oh, Dean, how do you get so lucky? <laughs> how do I get so lucky? I work harder than everybody else. You know? And up until I moved down here to Vegas and discovered there were other issues with life roles, um, yeah, and I will get back to working harder. I really will. In fact, if my challenge goes this year, I will write about 22 novels and, I don't know, 67, my normal 60 or 70 short stories in 2019. Go ahead, keep up with me. And if you think it's because you're young and new in the business that you can't, that's the problem. It will be self-fulfilling. You won't be able to. Hmm. But I'm 68 years old and run a big publishing company and do other jobs, and I can do it. Your attitude should be, well, if that jerk can do it, so can I. And you can. If you just get out of your own way.